This is how you remove the SD card from Zumi. You're gonna pop the trunk, okay? You're gonna pull the SD card out, okay? Remember, just pull straight out. Don't yank down or up. That's the SD card. When you need to put it back in, remember the pads, they're gonna be facing up and you just push right in. You should be the, you should see that there's a little slot in there. And that's it. Connect the SD card to your computer. You're gonna need an SD card and some way of connecting it to your computer. Now, right here, I have this USB adapter, which lets you connect a micro SD card, or you might need uh, one of these micro SD um, adapters, which you can see my computer takes both. So all you do is basically put it in there. If you can't, you can use the other one. Okay. So this will be a tutorial on how to flash your SD card for Zumi. Uh, now the first thing you're going to want to do is you want to download a, a Zumi.iso file or basically the SD card image. We'll provide a link to that. Right now I'm just going to focus on the Mac um, flashing of the SD card. Okay. So the first thing you're going to want to get is Banana Etcher. Banana. <laughs> um, whatever. So you're going to go right into uh, just go to Balena Etcher. It's gonna take you here. All right. Now we'll, what this uh, is gonna allow us to do is just quickly grab the image and then flash our drive. So we're gonna hit download for Mac. That's what I'm using right now. Okay, it's downloading. Okay, so. Belena Etcher just finished uh, downloading, so I'm going to click on it right here. I should prompt this to open up. Okay. Now we have to click and drag this into the application fold. Okay, it's going to bring up something. Oh, that sound means that it's finished. We're going to double click on the applications folder. And then you're going to find the application right here. Okay. We're going to open it up. Give it some time. Okay, it's giving us this. If that's the case, hit open. Okay, there you go. It opened it up. Now, I already have the image which I've downloaded from our site. Um, what you can do is you can just click and drag it right on top. Okay. And then it automatically detects your SD card if you've already inserted it. Right now, in my case, I've already inserted my 16 gigabyte SD card. And it's telling me, would you like to flash? And I'm going to click flash. Okay. It's going to ask for my password. put that in and now it's starting to flash okay it gives you an ETA so right now it's telling me it should take about 29 minutes um, that sounds about normal because this is a 16 gig image uh, it does take a while okay and you can just wait for it to finish flashing I'm gonna try to download Belena Etcher uh, you just have to get to this site. You get down here to download for Windows. It doesn't show up. You can scroll down, click right around here. And it'll start, start downloading it for you. So now I finished downloading. Just click on it. And just click agree. gotta wait for it to finish okay so the application finished installing so now I'm going to look for it and it should be under B here it is Belena Etcher now I've already opened it up so I'm not gonna click on that and this pulls up this this interface um, here is gonna be where the SD card image is the thing you download from us uh, and you can change it so right now I already know it was in my downloads and I selected it. It's a disk image file. So I click open. 
and then once I inserted my SD card to my computer this popped up right here automatically and if uh, selects the wrong one you can click change right here um, and you can select it so right now this is a 16 gig SD card okay now I'm gonna click flash and it's gonna begin the whole process so this takes a while I'm gonna click yes and it's beginning it's a uh, 5.29 uh, gigabyte file so it might take a while to actually do this whole process so that's pretty much it you just flash your Zumi SD card and then once this is done it'll, I think you just have to eject it and you can just uh, insert it into your Zumi and that's it